Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the gift card or money holder in Cricut Design Space. So I already have the image that I want to work with. I've already brought that onto my canvas. So you guys know I take forever trying to find an image. So I have an image that I want to work, work with. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be using a background. And the background that I'm going to be using, I got this um, background from Pixabay. And this is the background that I'm going to be using. Okay, so you can get this on pixabay.com for free. And I just searched for um, birthday backgrounds, and this is one of the ones that came up. Okay, but this is the, um, the floral watercolor floral number um, to locate this image. All right, so we're going to go and I'm going to upload that background which I've already brought it into Cricut Design Space. I'm just going to select it and click on Add to Canvas. And I'm going to make this the size that I want the entire gift card money um, slash money holder. Okay, so you want to make sure that your lock proportions is unlocked. And we're going to type in 6.75. We're going to tab over to the height and put in 4.687. So that's going to be the size of our card. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so then the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to place a score line. So you want to go over to your shapes. And we're going to select the score and we're going to make that score height um, 4.687. So you're going to go to your height and type in 4.687. You don't have to do anything with the width. And what we want to do is just lay that um, in the center because we want to get it centered horizontally so that we'll know, you know, how much space we're working with. So I've highlighted both the score line and the background image, I'm going to go up to the menu and select a line and say center horizontally. Okay, so this is going to be the front part of the gift card holder. This is going to be the back part of the gift card holder. You don't have to worry about the fact that this overlaps because I think it's going to look, to re look really nice. All right, so now I have my image. My image, I have my image sized at um, a width of two inches and a height of 3.488. You don't have to do what I do. You can make your smaller, larger, you know, it just depends on what image you're working with. So that's the size that I have my image. And I'm going to right click and say bring to front. And I'm going to place that about there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is we want to um, put in our denomination. So I'm going to get a text box going here and I'm going to type in $150. Okay, and this is on Calibri Bold. Calibri for the font, bold for the style, which I think is perfect because you always want that money sign to kind of stand out. So I'm going to resize this because we need it to be, you know, small enough to go to the top of our card, but without impacting our little cutout area. Okay, so that's our 150. You can put the 150, the dollar amount, you can put it in whatever color you so choose, okay? 
So I'm going to say just for you on the front of this card. So I'm going to go with the text box again, and I'm going to type in just for you. Now this font, my text, I want my text to be in the Allura font. So I'm going to go over to the font here on the left side, and I'm going to look for Allura. And that's it. And we're going to bring this over and see about our spacing and sizing. So I'm going to size it down, of course. So I'm at the font size here, and I'm just clicking the down arrow to change the sizing. And we're going to bring that over. And I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to take the four and I'm going to move it over just a tad bit. And also the U. I'm going to move that over a tad bit to kind of make it look like it's, you know, going down at an angle. So you don't always have to do it you know, straight, get a little fancy with it, get a little fancy. So just for you. All right. And then on the, um, for the little insert up here, I'm going to do a heart instead of the shape that we put together. So we're going to go to our shapes and I'm going to select a heart. And then we're going to size that down. That's what's going to be our little insert okay all righty so so far so good and we're almost done so um on the back of the card i'm gonna put happy birthday and i'm gonna put love doris so it's gonna be happy birthday love doris so i'm just gonna duplicate because i'm gonna keep that allura font going I don't know why Cricut took so long. All right, so here I'm going to change the text to happy birthday. Happy birthday. All righty, so I'm going to want that right in the center. And I'm going to size it down just a little bit. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to put is the love doors. And I'm going to put that right here in the bottom right corner. So this is going to be on the back of the um, card. So it's not going to be on the front since we have enough already on the front. We're going to go ahead and put this on the back. You can design yours however you so choose, guys. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just showing you how to make this card in Cricut Design Space. So this is going to be it. That's all we're going to do. This is going to be the front of the card. Cricut is going to cut this out. It's also going to cut around this part right here, it's going to cut that out, and then we're going to have it to score right there in the middle. So again, this is going to be the front of the card, and this is going to be the back of the card, okay? So what we want to do now, all right, guys, so what we're going to do now is you want to take your score line and your heart, you want to move those two things away from your card, okay? So the score line was here. And then you had your heart that was here. You're going to remove those things over to the side. And then you're going to take and click outside of the completed image over here. And you're going to highlight everything. Okay. You're going to highlight everything. You can see everything is selected except for your heart and your score line. And that's what we want. 
And at that point, you're going to come down to the bottom and you're going to click on the bottom right and click on flatten. And what that's going to do, it's going to now change this to a print then cut project. Okay, a print then cut project. Then you're going to take your score line and put your score line back and you can line it up. I'm going to right click on this and say send to back. And that way you can see your score line. But we're now going to highlight both the print then cut image. You can see it's highlighted here on the right and your score line. And you're going to you're going to come up to your menu and select align center horizontally. Just want to make sure it's center. OK, once you get that done and you want to make sure that it's. On top of the entire card. Here we go. All right. And then you're going to take and move your heart back over. OK, and once you get those two things done, then you're going to click in the white space again and highlight everything. And you should see both the score line, the heart and the print, then cut all three lines or layers selected. And you're going to click on attach. And what that's going to do is going to keep your heart and your score line in position. OK, so now we are ready to make our project. So you're going to go up to the top right and click on make it. And you can see what's going to take place. You're going to have your print then cut. So Cricut is going to send the image to your printer and your printer is going to print this out for you minus the heart and minus the score line. OK, it's the score line and the heart is not going to show up. And then after you put um, take it from your printer, you're going to lay it like you see it here on your mat. And then you're going to insert either your single scoring wheel or your um, stylus. OK, one of those so that it can score down the center of your card. And then Cricut, after you do that, you're going to put your fine point blade in and then Cricut is going to cut around here and it will cut out the area for your heart. So at this point, you're ready to click on continue in the bottom right corner. You would select center printer. I'm using my HP Office Jet Pro 7740. As you can see here, I'm going to remove the bleed and I'm going to use my own system dialog for my printer. Click print. And I'm going to click on preferences and I'm going to be using pen and gear photo glossy cardstock. So I'm going to change this from paper, plain paper to other glossy inkjet paper and from normal to best. And I'm going to select OK. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out. And then once I get this printed out, then I will go back and I will have Cricut, you know, to finish it up. Um, with everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here and then I'm going to come up on screen and we're going to finish this project together. All right, guys, so I have printed out the card and it is absolutely gorgeous on this photo glossy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get it put on my mat here. And we're going to go ahead and let Cricut do its thing. Now, I'm going to be putting this on just uh, medium cardstock. And I'm going to show you here that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my, um, oh, I have my eyes. Uh, I'm going to be using this single scoring uh, wheel. But you can also use the stylus. This is the stylus. Okay. So you can use either or. Um, I bought mine in a bundle. So it came with the stylus, some scissors. Um, it came with the um, weeding tool. And I can't remember what else. I think some tweezers. But it came with a couple of different cr Cricut tools. So you can use the uh, scoring stylus or you can use the single scoring wheel. This is what's going to put the line down the center so that we can fold the car easily. 
<laughs> so I'm going to go back to Cricut here. Give me one second. And I'm going to select medium cardstock. And it's telling me to go ahead and place my single scoring into clamp B. There will be nothing in clamp A. So we're just going to remove the fine point blade and put in the single scoring. And if you saw my video that I did yesterday on um, that I did yesterday on Microsoft PowerPoint, it's the same concept, but we're only doing it in Cricut Design Space. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and load our card onto our mat. And again, when you're using this photo glossy, guys, use the palm of your hand to smooth the cardstock down on your mat because you can scratch the ink um, because the, the glossy has like, I guess, the, this coating. And so you don't want to scratch your image. So make sure your hands don't have anything on them and go ahead and get your image down on your mat real good, okay? I'm just using the palm of my hand to flatten it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and load it into my machine. And when Cricut is ready, I'm going to hit the C. And it's going to go ahead and do the scoring for us. For the, instead of using glue, I'm going to be again using my double sided tape which I have fallen in love with, and I'm pretty sure I got this from Dollar Store. So right now, Cricut is looking for the registration mark. So anytime you do a print then cut, you're gonna have um, a line going around your image, but Cricut is gonna cut around that. So that's not gonna become a part of the finished project. That's just so that Cricut knows where to place your, um, where to cut your image, okay? And if it doesn't recognize that black black registration uh, line, registration marks, then it won't cut your project, okay? All right, so it's gonna come over and it's gonna score for us. Okay, now it's telling me to remove my single scoring and to put in my fine point blade. Always check your fine point blade before you use it. It's nothing like having some vinyl, little pieces of vinyl stuck on there or suede or whatever fabric you've been cutting with. So always make sure that your blade is nice and, and clean, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and place that in. And All right, and you're not un unloading your mat, guys. You're not unloading your mat. All you're doing is changing the blade, and then you're going to hit the C um, logo for Cricut. You're going to hit that so that it will finish with your project. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the C now. And now it's going to cut the project out for us. Okay, just that quick, it's done. We're gonna go, go ahead and unload our mat. So now we can go ahead and take off the outline. So that's exactly how it should come out, guys. And then you can go ahead and remove the remainder. And you see how we have the heart cut out right there for us. And we have our score line. So all we have to do is just fold it in half, really easy. And look how pretty that turned out. Isn't that gorgeous? Just for you. And then on the back, we have a happy birthday. Love, Doris. So all we have to do now is just take our um, double-sided tape, which I always have problems because of my nails. 
All right, so the only thing that I'm gonna tape or you'll be taping is this outer side here and the bottom. Don't tape the top. Now you can, once you put the money or the gift card or whatever you're putting inside, once you put that inside, you're more than welcome to go in and follow that up with a little bit of glue to close up the top. Um, you know, but I'm doing mine for demonstration purposes only. Notice I didn't put no names on here because I don't want nobody contacting me talking about where my $150. <laughs> we don't want to cause no problems. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting off the little excess um, tape. I want to make it nice and clean so that you cannot see the tape and at the bottom. And then we're going to follow it up with the side, I mean the bottom. And make sure you're not overlapping. So I'm going to place that on here. And then cut it. Okay, just like that. So on the side and on the bottom, that's it, okay? And then I'm gonna use my weeding tool here to help me out with pulling off the backing on this because I can never do it with my nails. So you wanna pull off the, um, the backing of the tape so that you can get to the sticky part, okay? So got a little extra right here. I'm going to clip that without clipping my card. There we go. And like I said, be careful with the front part of your card because you do not want to compromise the image. So I'm just pulling off the backing and then you're going to be left with the sticky part of the tape. I'm going to do the same thing on this other piece over here. Peel that off. And now you can close your cord. Make sure you got it lined up properly and it should be all good because you got your scoring down the middle. And I think I was off just a little bit. There we go. So that is your green card. All made inside Cricut Design Space. And then on the back, you have the whatever you want to put, okay? And now you can have your little insert to slide. And of course, I got to make sure the tape is stuck down. But to put your um, money or gift card or whatever you're going to put in there, just go ahead and slide that in. And like I said, if you want to glue this closed once you put the money in, um, I would highly recommend that you use, you know, um, very small amount of glue at the very top and then just close it up and there you have it there is your gift card slash money holder um, greeting card so to speak so to me it's almost like a mini greeting card and I think it's absolutely gorgeous okay you can get so creative with this guys you don't have to do what I did um, these are just giving you ideas and showing you the way to do it in Cricut Design Space, but feel free to make your make it your own. That's that's my purpose in being here, so I can show you how to do it, but you make it your own, okay? So when you guys take my projects that I show you to the next level, I get so excited. So take it to the next level and post it in the group, in my Facebook group, Candoris is Cricket and Creative Crafters, and let me see how great yours turned out okay so there you have it guys really quick and easy it doesn't take a lot make sure you save that project and put it in a collection for your gift card so you'll know how to find it easily the next time and you don't have to start all over all you'll have to do is just go in and change out any images or wording uh, denomination um, on your cards or what have you okay and that's it people love personalized gifts guys and I'm telling you, these things are going to be a big hit. They're going to be a big hit, I guarantee you, okay? Very easy to make. Um, so if you prefer to try it in Microsoft PowerPoint, and I just want to see what it's coming up with. 
Um, if you prefer to do it in Microsoft PowerPoint, you want to learn how to do it in Microsoft PowerPoint. I uploaded a tutorial yesterday on how to do the same project inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So go out there and check that out. Um, this is the one that I created in Microsoft PowerPoint. You can see they're the very same, very same sizing and everything. And I got creative on the back one of that one. I just put balloons and enjoy your special day. And my tape just messed it up on the end. Thanks, tape. <laughs> like it's the tape fault. <laughs> but anyway, so this one was done in Microsoft PowerPoint. And this one was done in Cricut Design Space. Okay. So they both look great. Okay. All right, guys, that's my story. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Candorces Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for the support via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, then just send me a Facebook group request to Candorces Cricket and Creative Crafters, and we will get in there, okay? It is a private group, so you do have to request to join. And also, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And showing me support and love there. I love your comments. Um, I try to respond to people um, to let them know that I do appreciate you. And so if you're seeing me for the first time and you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. The more the merrier. All right. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a good day. Bye.